Hi guys, it's Thursday, April 26th. That's my mom's birthday, so happy birthday. This morning I started with um, the slatted base for the bed. I wanted to, treat, wanted to treat that yesterday, but I forgot, so I did that this morning. And it's looking great. We just did one coat on either side and we did those cut edges twice. Um, and that now should be protected very well. Um, and it also looks better. It's just that, yeah, the grains just pop a bit more and it just looks that tad warmer. And yeah, we won't see that much, obviously, because it's the slatted base and we will have uh, mattresses on it. But yeah, happy that we treated the wood. When we created... We used this 18mm oak to create our countertop, but we still had quite some left. So this morning you already created a hook system that we can install on our walls. And they exist of some straight beams and some beams that have a, an angle at the bottom and at the top. So if you press the bottom or pull up the top, then you have a hook and when you put it back in place you have a flat surface. So that means that we will have 11 hooks next to each other and now we just have to figure out how we can connect them all against each other in the middle. Uh, it doesn't have, uh, it can't be too tight but it also can't be too loose so that they will stay put where they are if we um, hang a coat or if we take a coat back off. Uh, and then we have to decide where we want to put them but um, it looks great and uh, yeah, happy with that. So we're now again working on the area around the electrics and the wardrobe and it's quite difficult. I think we've got an idea of how we're going to make most use of the space whilst still being able to uh, reach the distribution board and the inverter easily um, as well as reach the batteries if we ever need to. Um, but then still being able to make uh, yeah, the most of the space that we have. So um, here you can see the part, part of the floor or the area in which we will rest our feet and uh, we cut that a piece of that off because this area we want to be able to lift out but that area we want to be able to keep in place and bolt down because we want to install a lagoon table leg and we want to have that uh, running up here meaning that the um, piece of wood underneath there shouldn't uh, it will never be able to move. But this we have to take off if we ever need proper access to the distribution board. Then um, this will be a door and we can open that uh, to reveal the distribution board and inverter. Just quickly open it to switch off the inverter to save power. And we are now working on a structure that will surround the batteries on which we can rest um, this plank. Um, and then uh, the plank will be easy to uh, lift off uh, whilst the structure remains in place uh, with quite some area above the battery so they can keep uh, stay cool um, but then also making most use of that space so the plank will uh, have the same level as the rest there and from above there we will have a regular uh, wardrobe just with the solar charge controller uh, installed on this wall but then we will be able to reach the distribution board and have some bulk storage behind it. Uh, that entire cabinet down there will be able will be able to reach if we open this or that door. And uh, yeah, I think then the entire electric system is protected protected as much as it can be while still uh, yeah having access to everything. <clears throat> We're now just cutting some uh, rests of that underlayment to fit in between this area. Those pieces of ply are now just exactly 27.7 centimeters and they will fit around the batteries running up until there and then the plank can rest on top so it can be perfectly level with the rest of the area around the toilet. This is what I meant. We now have a couple of boards up. Um, we'll make one other piece like 10 centimeters in the width and then some support beams running along there as well as here and then this plank can rest on top of there we will probably take out uh, one of j those small gaps so we can uh, put a finger through and lift it up uh, in case we need to reach the batteries 
so that will just run run along here and that will be part of the wardrobe that we can access uh, from the bed or from the sofa um, and then for the rest we will just have regular shelves running up uh, another three I think and um, yeah other than that we're just going to think about how we can install a lagoon table leg here I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, the lagoon table leg we've seen it in a couple of vans um, it basically has a montage plate that you can screw into a surface, a flat uh, surface that is perpendicular to the floor and um, you can either uh, choose to have a leg um, inserted in that permanently but you can also remove that um, and that's just one leg straight up and from there you can insert a uh, leg that is horizontal and that leg is then mounted to a table so you have a table um, that you can insert when you need it but you can also remove the leg so basically you'll only have a mounting plate in place permanently and we're just thinking about uh, how we will build a structure that will hold that mounting plate without being in the way <coughs> it would have been perfect to mount that on this side or on the other side of the complete structure but on the other side we will have the uh, toilet that is moving out uh, like a toilet drawer so that will be uh, moved out uh, so we can't in install that there and we can't install it here either but because this will be a door so we are thinking about um, mounting that here and once the mounting plate is installed you can insert a leg uh, but for us that will run up too high, it would uh, poke through the bed basically, so we will uh, disassemble that when we need to. And the other end will be connected to the bottom of a table, so just a slab of wood, which type we want. Um, we might have something laying around that we can use. And that also includes a swivel, so the table can move around in any direction, we can move it up and down and stuff like that. Um, so I think that that will be great. It's very expensive. I think it's around, um, what, 170 euros? So 200 dollars, 150 pounds. Um, but it's, I think it will be worth it. It's very lightweight and it just makes the table very maneuverable and that's what we need here. The wardrobe is coming along nicely. The structure for the uh, lagoon table leg mount is in place. We now have a shelf underneath here that covers the batteries. Um, that shelf can be taken off if we ever have to access the batteries. Yori is now working on the second shelf and just fitting that into place. That will rest on two beams that run along all the way to the back. Um, it might need some extra support, we're not sure yet, but the material that it hangs on and the material that it's made of is 18 millimeters thick, so that should be alright. And I'm now using some of this leftover ply, which is 5.5 millimeters thick, to cover up these areas here um, I'm going to start with uh, these two triangles then work on the bits on the side there and I might make something for this um, small area up here I'm not sure yet because I do not know how far the ceiling will go down so I'm not sure how to cover that up yet I'm not even sure how to do this but um, I'm going to figure something out I'm going to work with a similar method that we uh, use for the wardrobe to create this side here um, but we'll see now let's see if this fits here yay that is part one I have no idea how I am going to fix it into place but it fits and the second one is done as well this part here and the one across will be done when the ceiling is in place and later on I will also do this curved area um, but for now these two parts are finished it's 11 p.m. now and as you can see we are still working on the van Jordi is currently painting part of the wardrobe uh, those are some of the shelves that will be put in uh, very soon today we did we made a lot of changes Jordi worked so hard on the wardrobe and it looks amazing um, so once these uh, shelves are painted, uh, they can be put into place and um, we can fix everything together. Um, so yeah, a lot of progress today and also those tiny finishing pieces that we had to do for such a long time already, but finally done part of that. Um, so Jordi just drilled holes through each of these parts of these this little hook system and um, while doing this with 
just a handheld saw and um, a handheld drill is much more difficult than uh, what we've seen other people do. So we are very, very excited to see how this turns out. Um, because these holes obviously all have to be centered throughout uh, 23 different pieces of wood. Um, so we will buy some extra stuff that we uh, need to finish this off and tomorrow we will see if this is going to work. So you'll see that in tomorrow's video. And this wood has all been painted and it's ready to go into the van soon, probably tomorrow. And Yuri is nearly done painting for today. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.